Hi, my name is Jeff Morgan. I am from Dallas, Texas. Yesterday was Saturday, October the 14th. To start off the day, I went to the Rockwell GOP breakfast in which Attorney General for the state of Texas, Ken Paxson, was speaking. I was not allowed to videotape. It was the only time that I have been there that I was not allowed to videotape, but I believe it was a request from the Attorney General's office. No videotaping be permitted. So I took notes as quickly as I could so that I would accurately represent uh, him in any conversations that, that we had along the way. One of the main duties of the Attorney General's office in the state of Texas is child support collection. 62% of his staff actually are devoted to collecting child support. That's 2,600 people out of 4,200 people are approximately are collecting child support. They collect $4 billion a year and Paxton said that he's got about a million clients uh, in, the, in, in Texas. His office probably does the best job or one of the best jobs of collecting child support for, uh, out of any office in this in any state in America. He compared him access to California and how much greater they were. For every dollar they spend, they collect $12.27 in child support. And he thinks it's a good public policy uh, to provide the custodial parent with support for the children. And the non-custodial parent always has to pay the custodial parent. May not be allowed to see the children, but still has to pay. This has been a source of contention among many people that his office is so, is so focused on collecting child support, but will never enforce child visitation. So at the end of his presentation, there was a brief time for question and answers, two minutes maximum. My question to Ken Paxton was along these lines. Now, first off, I was scared to death to ask the question because some people know that I have filed a complaint against Justice of the Peace, Judge Jack James, Precinct 1 Rockwall, who attends this meeting at various times. The other reason was is that uh, usually when I go to these meetings, um, I ask a question regarding families. You know, what can we do in Texas is to help prevent or reduce the divorce, things dealing with child custody, whatever it may be. It would be easier to be silent. It would be easier to say nothing. It would be easy just to shut up and just act like a meek little nice peon. But um, I chose to ask Attorney General Ken Paxton this question. He said, Back in September of 2016, you met with a family of Adam and Amber Briggle and their parents of a transgender son. And actually, the Briggles had invited Attorney General Ken Paxton to their house to have dinner with him. And their concern was that they wanted to make sure that the Attorney General was protecting the rights of all children. I didn't know anything why the meeting, why he met with them. I wanted to get a little bit of flavor for that. But I asked at the same time, asking about the question with child support and how unfair a lot of people felt it was, especially when they were unable to see their children, because oftentimes the custodial parent will keep the children from the non-custodial parent. And I mentioned the case of a friend of mine, Michael Dry. While he was renewing his driver's license, he was arrested. And the reason he was arrested because, was because he had missed two child support payments. The money comes out of his paycheck automatically. And something happened when he was transitioning jobs that the payments didn't get made. So he went to go get his driver's license renewed. He had his kids with him, his wife with him, and he got arrested for not paying child support. This is what the Attorney General Office is using to collect child support. So I asked Attorney General Ken Paxton, you've met with the Briggle family, would you be willing to meet with parents who feel that you're using abusive tactics to get child support from them? There were about 75 people there, Ken Paxton said, Attorney General to Ken Paxton said, yes, absolutely would be willing to meet them. I waited around until he was leaving, and as he left, um, I said, Mr. Paxton, and he turned around and I said, so the parents who want to contact you, how can they get in touch with you? And he addressed me to Michelle Smith, who was his political director. Well, Michelle Smith and I actually know each other. We were both from the Rockwell area. I supported her on a number of things. And I was working on the volunteering for the Rick Santorum campaign in 2012. We were on the Texas leadership team. When they needed a new state director, I wrote a letter on behalf of Michelle so that she could become the state director. I don't know if she actually did or not, uh, but I actually wrote a letter on her behalf. The suggestion would be this. Call Michelle Smith email Michelle Smith. As opposed to making it an individual appointment, why don't you get together with about 10, 15 other people in your area and all have the appointment at the same time. And, if, and when you have this appointment, make sure to invite your legislators, whether it be a, a representative or a senator or both, maybe even a judge, maybe even some law enforcement people, but have a big sit down meeting with them because of the issues that are involved. Um, one of the big issues that I know people are upset about is how they are deprived of rights 
if they do not pay their child support, if they can't pay their child support, you can look around and you see people that are in prison for missing child support, uh, people that can't get their driver's license renewed for missing child support, people that cannot get an auto re-registered for missing child support. I've got friends who have sat in jail because they were behind in child support. These are things that have happened in the state of Texas. And yet at the same time, many of these parents, like my friend Michael Dry, for instance, he has not been able to see his daughter. His ex-wife has a cl has claimed that he was a sexual predator that se sexually molested his daughter. By the way, his ex-wife has now made the same allegation against a couple of other people. It's all disproven. It's all nonsense. It's all garbage. His daughter does not like him because of all of these stories of sexual molestation that occurred that she has no recollection of. This lady can lie. Nothing happens to her. In fact, often the system protects people like that. But God forbid God forbid that he would end up missing a couple of payments. While he was transitioning in between jobs, he gets thrown in jail. Now, the Attorney General's office cannot do certain things. The Attorney General's office, they are in the Child Support Collection Division. But if you need to say, you know, we have a custodial issue, oh no, 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 you have to go back and get an attorney and go to the courts. You've got to pay more money to see your kids. But God forbid, God forbid that you miss a child support payment. So my recommendation is that you get together with maybe 10, 15, even 25 people. Say, Attorney General Ken Paxson, we will buy your dinner. We will pay for the representative. Just come and meet with us and hear us out. Attorney General Ken Paxson met with that family, the Briggle family out of Denton, Texas. He publicly committed in front of about 75 people that he would meet with you. I think Ken Paxson is a good man. Uh, and I think that he needs to start hearing that the people that are not paying child support may be dads who have gone through difficult times. In a normal family, if you lose your job, you tighten your belt. God forbid that you would lose your job when you're paying child support because you can end up in jail. That would include your, your, take, your Texas state representative, your Texas state senator, if possible, um, if you can bring in somebody from the uh, law enforcement division, but meet with him. Meet with him. Many of you have asked for this. This issue doesn't even pertain to me, but you've asked for it. Now do it.